How would you feel the loan has been for you? Um, very positive overall, um, individually. Um, I, I'm playing every week and I'm taking a lot from that. And uh, I'm enjoying the challenge of having to contribute to the team in um, Kilmarnock. And um, yeah, I've, lo I've loved playing in the Premier League for Kilmarnock. Yeah, you've, as you said, you're pretty much an ever present. Are you surprised how much game time you've been given? Um, I think you're expected as a young player coming out on loan to go and challenge. Um, going back to my previous loans, I've had experiences of being in most weeks and some where you're in and out. Um, so I've had that experience before, but you want to set the challenge yourself to go and put yourself in the team and, and hold on to your jersey when you've got it. Mm. What's Derek said to you about your season? Um, again, it's I think as a young player, it's setting challenges and learning. Um, coming in at the start, it's, it's set the challenge, go and put yourself in the team, whatever position you're asked to play. Um, for me, that's one where I've been asked to play different positions and the manager's been very good with me in terms of the feedback I get from that and what he's asked me from the different roles. Mm. How much dialogue is there between yourself and someone at Rangers just to keep a monitor of how you're getting on? Uh, there's, there's constant dialogue. Um, we've got the loans manager, Billy Kirkwood, mm. um, so I speak to him every week and uh, they're, they're one way or another, they're watching every game. Let's talk about Kilmarnock then, four games until split. How important are these four games? They're massive. I, I, I don't think you can compare these to four slick games. Every game is, is an opportunity to get three points. It's an opportunity to climb the table and take points off other teams. So it's got to be one game at a time, but recognising the, the challenge there and the importance of each game. And, you know, there aren't any games that we can afford to, to throw away, if you like. How important is it to get back to winning ways? It's been on a bit of a sticky run at the moment. The two teams below you in the league, both playing Celtic and Rangers, how important is it that you do pick up three points, especially here on Saturday? Yeah, as I say, it's, it's one game at a time and not not even looking at anyone else. It's just we've got an opportunity to take points on Saturday. Um, as you say about previous form, there's a frustration there that the games we've we've drawn conceded late. Um, we feel like we've not, not taken what we wanted from the game. Um, but... Equally, it's on us to go and put games to bed because we've had the chances to do it recently and not done it. How is the, the confidence in the dressing room? Good. I think we've got a really good group um, that really get around each other. Um, there's a lot of belief. And uh, even going back to last season at the club, Kilmarnock, come the business end of the season, we're very strong. So that's something that we want to replicate again. How did your previous loans help when you get to a stage of the season like this where it's like a business end and there's so much, so much at stake? Mm -hmm. um, my, my past two loans in the Championship, both times um, the clubs were, were aiming for playoff spots and then looking at promotion that way. Um, so it's, it's a different different challenge being here in this season. But again, as you say, you take a lot from that and the, the big pressure games, if you like, coming in the season, they're the ones that um, you're going to get judged on and that are going to count. And as a player, they're the games that you want to go and win. Do you, um, did you, was that for the Eleven Club, especially the first loan that you, you know, when you go into these kind of pressure games, just seeing even just the, you know, the, the senior pros in the dressing room beforehand and afterwards as well? Yeah, of course. As you say, about the, the senior pros, you see the way they get around each other, the way they take care of themselves and they set standards. So that's something that you want to learn from and, and put, put that um, responsibility on yourself. Good to go. How's it been, Derek? Feeling great? Good to get uh, yeah, I think when you've had uh, the way the game finished for us against St Johnston, you know, it was a we knew we into, like every manager and every team getting into an international break, you want to go into it as positive as you can. We built the game up, the performance similar to Motherwell here last time out at home was very good. I thought we were a better team, um, a lot of things conspired against us. Um, we didn't get all three points, but the actual performance was good. So we try to hold on to the positives of that. So I think going into any international break, it's you always want to have a positive performance, but more importantly, a positive result at this time of the season. So we were in um, at the beginning of the week. Boys got a couple of days off with the command at golf day on Monday. Um, I think a wee bit of switch off as well for everybody. And then we've been just been working, focusing on this game with Hearts. So and again, similar going into. To this one, coming out of the break, we want to make sure now we can get back to winning ways if we can. So, Hearts a strong team. You know, their agenda is to finish in Europe, finish third. They've got a fight in their hands for that. Um, we're trying to stay in the league, that's our fight. But it's a fight that we're determined to win. It's a fight that I believe that the players are right up for. Um, 
And I think we've shown signs of that, particularly against St Johnston, when, for me, the majority of the performance was really strong. Mm -hmm. feel that golf day was beneficial just in the heat of it? Uh, I don't know. I think um, these things are always good, mingle with supporters. You know, it's like, you know, we all golf with, with, with key sponsors of the club and everybody's a big command-up fan, so I think it's good for the players to feel that and be around that and everybody's really supportive, trying to get behind. We all know the importance of having a strong finish to the season, so... Um, but any any time you can get an opportunity to to be together, uh, out with the, the the football environment is never a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Big push then, playing four games before the split. Yep, um, you know we just want to concentrate on this one. Uh, normally the the post split games will decide everybody's fate and how we all kind of set about that. But what we want to do is go into it with in good form. We're picking up some more points, and Saturday presents us a chance to do so. I think. Uh, no, I've said they are the reasons that Hearts are going for third. So they are, you know, they are a team littered with good players. They're, they're well managed, got good coaching staff. But ultimately, for us, our need and our desire to win the game is clear. Um, it was a 94th minute equaliser here against us from the last time we played Hearts, which was a real blow. We've had two or three of those types of games where um, we haven't quite managed to see the game through. And it's not hanging on. It's not. A message from me or any of the players try, try to go a bit deeper. Sometimes it just happens that way, and when you when you try and when you can win more games like those, then it starts to breed that confidence and that kind of assurance that you get over the line. So, if we can get ourselves in front, uh, we're mindful. And we spoke about how what we needed to keep doing and, and be brave with our work, and uh, hopefully we can uh, get the all important three points. I've only ever been involved in one relegation fight, and that was when I took the job on at Bristol City. We took the job on ten, we were ten points behind second bottom, um, and November I think it was, and we only won a game at home all season. In hindsight, I don't know why I took it, but <laughs> um, it was a real opportunity, uh, and we managed to stay up. Um, that was the only time I can remember the pressure at that side of being involved in a, a relegation fight. Um, when we stayed up, we were a bit to spare in the end up, but it was always, you know, from the moment we walked in the door, we were in a relegation fight in November. So, you know, I've got the benefit of that type of experience. But I think that you're right in terms of everything else, you know, you know whether it's fighting for second spot, European spots, top six, we were St Johnston. Um, you know, I think that it's, it's good to have meaningful games. I would rather be where a couple of other clubs are at the minute and probably just on the cusp of that. Um, of no having a lot to play for, maybe just top six still got a fight for that, and I think in time we will get there at Comana. You know, I, I believe, um, uh, I, I believe in the potential of the club. I believe that going forward we will be that team fighting for top six and fighting to get into Europe. But for now, our fight is to to make sure we stay in the league, and it's a fight with the term to win. And what does that kind of Bristol City from that was? You know, we um, we we picked up a couple of significant results, um, big results, and I think that that's probably going to be required. You know, I think that when you get into the post-split games, you know, um, you're playing teams who are in and around you, effectively. Um, we've got Hearts, we've got Celtic, um, we've got Aberdeen, who are all top six teams, St Martin, coming up before the split. So I think we're going to have to make sure that we we're show our capabilities to win big games, so we won a few games in the run-in that probably nobody expected us to win as uh, where we were in the league. Um, but I think we tried to be consistent with the message, try to be clear, try to trust how we work Monday to Friday, um, be really positive with our players and never lose sight of um, that we're good enough to stay in the league. And, and that's where we're at. We're just we're preparing for next season, we're preparing as a Premier League club and We'll know what to put that out there. We're going to be anything but. So we're just working hard to work, make sure we get the points required. And um, you know we're up for the fight. We know we're in a fight. I believe we would be in a fight. Um, so we are. We're in a position now. But we've got it all to do, and hopefully we can get that done. Yeah, you obviously said you felt hard done by Landy Collins and St John's last week. No, just that one. There was a few in the game. Yeah. That one seemed pretty clear. Um, is part of the problem that the referees only making decisions on the ground now. 
Yeah, listen, I feel as though every press I'm talking and beating up referees about the VAR situation, and I didn't really want to come in here and talk about it. But in answer to your question, I, I'll just reiterate, repeat what I said the last time, that is, we just want um, the referee to be, um, take more accountability for the on-pitch decisions to be made. And we were, we all signed up to VAR because we wanted VAR to be, uh, to assist and help the referees. Um, and I think we, we we just lost sight of that a wee bit. I think the referee has still got to be the guy who feels the responsibility to referee the game properly and not have the umbilical cord of VAR. It's there for him, but he's just got to deal with the, the game and referee the game. Um, and we've got good referees and we've got capable referees. And it's like, I do feel we should be arriving at better decisions more often than not. But I fully support of VAR and I'm still support of VAR. Um, but we, uh, I think we need to try and uh, utilise what's there better. And ultimately, it's the the video assistant referee is there to assist the referee, not referee the game. We spoke to um, Stuart Kettlewell this morning. He said that after the Motherwell Rangers game, he was speaking to Crawford Allen about the lines. Have you had a chat with Crawford Allen at all? And are you confident with your communication? I'm on speed dial with Crawford Allen. <laughs>